What the hell was that? It sounded like a plane crash. There was a reaction on the part of... Uh... Yeah, I'm close to you! Come to us, come to us! Come to us! Come to us! Hey, Beth, well, what is that? Something, somebody hit uh, the World Trade Center or the... It's a trade center. The World trade, trade center. World Trade Center. There's a fire on the upper floors. There's just an explosion. Now, some very, very sketchy details reaching us here at Sky Centre. Important enough to bring to you, though, at this early stage, we believe that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Centre in New York. That happened within the last few moments. No details at this stage as to what sort of plane it is. It could well be a large plane. We are hearing reports of a 737 not yet confirmed um, yet, although it is a jet. Um... <laughs> This just in, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Before 9 a.m. Eastern Time, with word that a plane had crashed into one tower of New York's World Trade Center. It could have been an accident until this. We just saw another one. We just saw another one, another plane just flew what? into the second tower. This raises, this has to be deliberate, folks. And Americans watched in shock as a second jetliner flew straight into the second tower. Hey, let's go! I'm standing on the corner, watching, taking pictures. You can see the wings of the plane come from the south and hit the middle of the second building. We're walking the dogs and we saw a plane flying really low, a jet, a small jet, and it flew directly into the World Trade Center, and then all the pieces fell to the bottom in seconds. It was chaos. The plane was coming in. I, I noticed it a second before it hit the building. It looked like it, it was moving slowly, and it lined itself up to hit the building directly. The doorman goes to me, oh, wow, i never seen a plane flying so low. And we, we looked out at it, and all of a sudden, boom, it, it, it seemed like it wasn't even real. I'd say the hole takes about, looks about six, seven floors were taken out. And there's more explosions right now. Hold on, people are running. Hold on. Wait, so hold on just a moment. We got an explosion inside. The building's that... exploding right now. You got people running up the street. Okay. I don't know what's going on. No second plane. It was a bomb. Bomb in another building, not second plane. That was a bomb. Who say the second plane? That's what we're told. The second plane. No, we saw it on I television. Saw everything. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Check, uh, this is. Much of the plane actually impacted the building. You know, it it, it might have appeared that way, but from my close-up inspection, uh, there's no evidence of a plane having crashed anywhere near the Pentagon. The only site uh, is the actual. Uh, side of the building that's crashed in and as I said the only pieces left uh, that you can see are, are small enough that you could pick up in your hand. Uh, there are no large uh, tail sections, wing sections, uh, a fuselage, nothing like that anywhere around which would indicate that the entire plane crashed into the side of the Pentagon uh, and then caused the side to collapse. Now, even though if you look at the pictures of the Pentagon, you see uh, that the floors have all collapsed, that didn't happen immediately. Uh, it wasn't until a, almost about 45 minutes later uh, that the structure was weakened enough that all of the floors collapsed. Uniquely, the whole world were eyewitnesses of the second attack broadcast live on television as the airliner banked sharply into the World Trade Center creating a fireball that burst through the concrete, glass and steel where hundreds of office workers were at their desks.
Kurz vor 9 Uhr Ortszeit in New York. Ein US-Passagierflugzeug stürzt auf einen der Türme des World Trade Centers. Wenig später rast eine zweite Maschine in den anderen Turm. Beide Gebäude stürzen kurze Zeit später nacheinander in sich zusammen. Gegen 10 Uhr stürzt ein Flugzeug auf das Gelände des Pentagon in Washington. Das Verteidigungsministerium geht teilweise in Flammen auf. Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Asche, Zentimeter tief. Die Rettungskräfte kommen nur schwer durch. Der Verkehr bricht zusammen. Es ist 18.45 Uhr, hier ist RTL aktuell. Terror gegen Amerika. Selbstmordattentäte entführen Passagiermaschinen und lassen sie ins New Yorker World Trade Center stürzen. Die Türme gehen in Flammen auf. In dem Inferno sterben tausende Menschen. This is an NBC News Special Report. Here is Tom Brokaw. September 11th, the year 2001, a day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. President Bush saying today that freedom has been attacked by a faceless coward and freedom will be defended. Not since Pearl Harbor was attacked on December 7th, 1941, has this country undergone such a devastating and damaging attack. And it may not yet be over. We do know at this time that at least four targets have been attacked.